Hello and welcome to the Minority Report. I'm Jose Candelario and let me tell you, this is a new year with new problems and new hopes and new dreams and new accomplishments and I can't wait to get started. Today on the show we're going to cover several topics including the Oregon occupation um, where you have a, mil a militia group that right now is taking control of a refuge for various reasons. Also we'll talk a little bit about El Chapo who recently was reincarcerated after another harrowing escape from the FBI's but this time he got caught and we'll talk a little bit about those circumstances. In the news as always has been Mr. Cosby for the past couple of years um, and uh, of course we have more developments in these uh, this ever evolving case against Mr. Cosby. Also we are going to push some buttons out there and talk about what if Trump is president because it's closer and closer to becoming the Republican nomination and we'll go over his chances at actually becoming president of the United States and if we have time we'll hit up the ice raids in New Haven that have been taking place. Also it is is towing season because of its tax season. So if you haven't paid your car taxes, no matter where you hide your car, even if it's across state lines, it probably will get towed by the New Haven Authority. <laughs> so, like always, I am joined by my group because the code, the code name for the show is Jose and them. So let me start with Stephen Palmer. <laughs> Uh, New Haven resident, how you doing, Stephen? I'm good. I'm good. It's good to be back. I miss you guys. He's not a resident. Oh. Hey, I'm not there throwing shade. I'm it's, just shedding light. No, yes, you shade. just did. That's and case shade. in point, next to him is Bonnie Candelario. Hello, Bonnie. Hello. How are you? All right. Welcome. Uh, next to Bonnie is uh, the always um, um, shady. verbal and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and shady. <laughs> Addis Costello. <laughs> I'm Castillo. Sorry. Castillo. I'm Thank sorry. You. Um, I have pronounce I have a difficulty pronouncing any Hispanic names, which won't be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> next to Marita is next to that is is Ms. Marita by, by Yate. <laughs> The very conservative and always poignant Ms. Marita. <laughs> mm. So we'll start then with talking about the Oregon occupation. Over the history of the United States, especially in the past 30 years, there have been different militia groups that have taken place in strongholds within cities, and we all know how that played out. Here in New Haven, when the Black Panthers took a stronghold on Congress Avenue, they burned Congress Avenue down. In Philadelphia, who are also minorities. Have you ever seen the um, documentary on Netflix called Let It Burn? There was another African American group that took refuge with, uh, that were armed within a house in, in, a, you know, in a populated block in Philadelphia. And a bomb was dropped on their house and it were you know, literally lit on fire. This group, however, who is now in the middle of nowhere in the woods in occupying <coughs> space, has been left alone and almost being unrecognized by the government. Mm -hmm. Where do you stand? Steven. Truthfully, I think it's some BS. I want to I can't say what I really want to say, but it's garbage for the simple fact that the refuge was made for the tribes in that area. That's their land. That's their way of giving it back to them. Apparently, there are a lot of, you know, artifacts that are there, documents, things that they hold very dear and near to their heart that's in that building. And they don't know what those people are doing to them. You know, they've been in it forever. That's their land. Mm -hmm. Give it back to them. Well, well, the person in charge of it is Mr. Bundy, um, and, and he, his father was also part of a uh, dis dis dispute with the federal government. His father technically still owns a couple of million, and that is due to the government because of leased land. Now, they, um, you know, they're arguing at one time that this was for another rancher who Turned, them, turned himself in and is doing time for another crime dealing with federal land use. And he <coughs> even said to the militia group, I want nothing to do with you. The locals want nothing to do with them. Mm -hmm. And I, I, someone mentioned last night that, they, that, that, that the, the militia group reached out for necessities and what did they Ooh. get? Uh, dildos. <laughs> <laughs> Mailed to them. That's so, crazy. That's so crazy. this they're is. Not leaving. They're so they're not leaving. That they needed some food. And and, yeah, they sent them something in different. They thought they were going to get a better backing, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one is taking they're them not. serious. They're a joke. They have no real cause. They're, they're just there, just to be there. Right. Yeah, I mean, another militia group tried to join them from Idaho, <laughs> and they even kicked them out. They, I mean, there's a, I mean, I, I was, as I mentioned last night, <coughs> militia groups, since President Obama came into power, mm -hmm. militia groups have been increasing from maybe, you know, under the 100 to uh, now several hundred mm -hmm. militia groups are springing up all over this country. 
and are gaining power. Uh, do you, you any ideas of why that is? Ah, that old fear of their take. We're losing the country. We're losing the country. Can I say one thing? Make I America wonder, great I don't again. know the statistics for this, but I wonder if there's a trend with the amount of militia groups increasing and maybe the amount of white supremacist groups increasing. That would be an interesting thing to find out. Um, I think it's just a reaction back. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's a scary thing because if they do organize, then we have a problem. Mm -hmm. But right now, if they're not getting love from other militias and they're not getting any support, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but we all know that if they were not these gun-toting white males, they would have been already Killed. quite, yeah, it, done. This would, this would not be done. 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 have gone on this long. It would have been over very <laughs> quickly. Over. You mentioned last night there, there, there's somebody, if, if so, a group of people. What, man, if five Muslims got together and took over a chicken coop with a slingshot, they would have bombed that. <laughs> so, yes. There you go. Okay. We started a group, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Please, we, we here. teenagers yeah. can't, can't organize in front of a, like a bus stop without mm -hmm. being harassed by police. Mm -hmm. And that's not even armed. Mm -hmm. But you mean to tell me 150 privileged white males mm -hmm. can stand on federal territory and no one, and Armed. I mean no one, has shown up to do Matter of fact, they have pictures of the local sheriff coming through to shake hands. Mm -hmm. When you've seen the Ferguson footage and the Baltimore footage mm -hmm. and even the footage over in um, the Mall of the Americas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no guns in sight, but yet we get treated like... You know what? I kind of refer back to Paul Mooney. You got when you have the right, you have the complexion for the protection. Mm. Nice. There you go. But I'll, I'll I'll play devil's advocate though. So we can say they're they're in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. They're not really endangering anyone because there's so no the people that live in that town. Except the people that live in that town. They are they're they're in that town. I agree with you. You didn't let me finish. I was about to say that, but that's their argument that. You know, no one works there. They don't have any hostages. You know, so we'll just wait it out. That's their reasoning behind it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So you mean to tell me? So by by that by that logic, unarmed people of color, unarmed people of color in the city are perceived as more dangerous than an armed group. 150 armed armed rifles, assault rifles. White males. You know the reality? Yes. I think that yes, the, the, also I will say in, 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 in retrospect that it is different in this day and age in how the media is covering it. And to be honest with you, the media is not covering the story. This is a cold story. We, I mean, it, every development is page like 10 mm -hmm. on the story. The me, this is a joke in your eyes of the media. Hashtag white ISIS. Hashtag Yao Qaeda. Yeah, but what kind it's of president even are we setting? Seriously. Think about that. What kind of president are you? Well, setting? It's what the government is. The, I mean, the that, government that's the dangerous is, is part what the of government all, is. Yeah. Uh, the government does not want to call them terrorists, but they're dealing with them as terrorists because they're not negotiating with them. They're not doing see, anything, and see, they're starving and I'm, them out. I'm, I'm going to have to call BS. We call everything else terrorism. When African Americans shoot each other, oh, they're committing their own. They're thugs. When mm -hmm. Muslims are caught with any kind of weapon or even a, an alarm clock. Well, I mean, you must be a terrorist. I mean, but you mean to tell me I have an armed militia yeah. and they are, you're not terrorists. Even though militia by definition mm -hmm. is a terrorist group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, we gonna have to move to another subject. All right, we gonna have to move on. Have any I don't want. Here. Well, <laughs> on that note, same with that though. We'll have to okay. return to that. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good. Um, El Chapo has been in the news recently uh, <laughs> yet again. Um, he uh, called up Sean Penn. He got some of his producers to reach out to Sean Penn and another Mexican actress to actually come down to Mexico and meet with him because he was uh, held up in some little town watching Narcos on Netflix and decided, <laughs> hey, this is not the real story. So. He's the Mexican <laughs> Donald Trump. I'm sorry. Yes. He, yeah, I they, feel he like does? he feels he can say anything, do anything, and fine, arrest me. He'll find a way out. Um, that takes a lot of balls to go and call up Sean Penn to come and find you when you are the most wanted man in the world. But think He's about got that. Money. But, but think he about that. Does He's got F you money. money. He does. Um, <laughs> Pablo Escobar did the same exact thing. He ran for president of Colombia at one point. Y did y'all remember mm -hmm, that part? Mm -hmm, yeah, we, mm -hmm. yeah. It did. did, did. Yeah. 
yeah. money. Nice so to have th everyone. this gentleman does own a quarter of the drug trade in the world. A quarter of the drug trade in the world. You got to come see him. <laughs> in a billion dollar industry. It is very interesting that even uh, right after he got caught, oh, we're going to send him to the United States. No, 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 no. no Two no. days later, no, no, we can't do that. I'm no. sorry. There's too much money involved here. We can't let him go anywhere because the government will cash in on his incarceration. The government has a lot of money to make off his incarceration mm -hmm. because, you know, when you go legal thing, legal fees, I mean, people are going to get paid off to put this guy through the ringer and he's not really put through the ringer no. I mean th the worst he's looked this whole time was that escape where he had his dirty t-shirt so here's a thought so here's a thought <laughs> have we thought about the level of contribution to the Mexican economy that oh, El yes. Chapo oh, yeah. produces because when they interview the citizens they're like nah man he's no, he's, he's like the Robin Hood of yeah, the Robin Hood. He is Robin Hood. He is the yeah. Robin Hood. I mean, I mean never mind he strings up some folks but you know that's not him. They're bad anyway. Orders. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> the other people say they're bad anyway. They yeah. deserve they shouldn't be involved mm -hmm. and that's what the thing they it's like um, it's, it's part of the occupation occupational hazards basically <laughs> if you're involved so, in that. So back to your comparison that El Chapo is Trump. So if Trump made a movie of himself, uh -huh. who would play Trump? No, no, no. <laughs> More importantly, <laughs> now we're not even going there. We're not going to go there? Trump. You know, because um, uh, there's a couple of SNL characters that play Trump very well. Oh, yes. So, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, the, easy that's a given. That's the easy one. The hard part is, if you guys had a bill a quarter of, uh, of the drug trade, who will play you in your movie? Because let me tell you, Sean Penn and him had a side-by-side -side photo, and they looked... Cause they look they look pretty good. I mean, Sean Penn can really he play. He dressed in character. Yeah. Sean oh my, yes, he did. He came. He came. He, <laughs> he came in it to pick up the character. He's like, I came to learn the mannerisms. He had mannerisms. a dirty T-shirt on. Yeah, he had the dirt. No, he, no, they were clean at the time. He's a method actor. I mean, he but, came to but study. you know, even the Rolling Stone article was vetted. The Rolling Stone article that came out days after was vetted by El Chapo. I mean, there's a lot of freaky things. He that, has a lot that of power, and yeah. I bet you, behind closed doors, Donald Trump respects the respects him for his game. Every, every, all businessmen re they, respect him I, for his game because he's running a, a billion dollar in But a, that's a where the danger industry. is because you will give that person more power. I don't know. It's just it's, it's scary. Cool. So, if uh, you had if you had a trillion dollars in a uh, producer, who would play you in your movie <laughs> starting with Mr. Steven? So, I have two. Uh -huh. Okay. Either Don Cheadle or my man that plays Peoples and Shaft. Oh. I can't remember his name. I, I think Don Cheadle is too much a good actor for you. We need someone. To, <laughs> you, need someone you need a more of a B-lister. I'll go with the second option. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bonnie, you know who will play you? Okay. So America Ferrera was a suggestion, and I can see her. I really respect her, and I like mm -hmm. her. Um, and I guess with the glasses and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I like from Jane the Virgin, Gina Rodriguez. Okay. I think she's cool. Okay. All right, very good. All right. Mm -hmm. She's sweet. Like, I don't know. Very I good. Or, or any nun that we can find on the street. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Church lady from SNL. Church lady from oh. SNL. Yeah. I can do the dance. Don't dare me. I can right, do the very good. Addis, who will play you? I hate y'all right now. <laughs> I hate y'all. Um, it's a toss-up. Mm -hmm. I, I can't combine these two actresses together, mm -hmm. but it would be between Zoe Zaldana mm -hmm. and... Angela Bassett. No. <laughs> I like Angela Bassett. No, I mean, but the thing is... You said Mel Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle, 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 yeah. Sorry. Michelle, Michelle Rodriguez. Rodriguez. I'm sorry. No. She intimidates me. Well, that, that's <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There you go. And I would suggest Carrot Top. So, no, <laughs> he's got yeah. the same tan in here. It would it. work. Got, it would I work. I'm just saying. I got him. Okay, so I said either Jordan Sparks or Paula Patton because I just love her. I could and, think and, and, and both people are 10 years younger than you. It's his turn. Get ready. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Well, I got two people, okay? I got two oh, people. Oh, I know somebody in my mind, the guy so in go the ahead. Amber Box. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, two people, either Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Pee Wee Herman. I think both <laughs> would. Both, <laughs> Paul Rubin. I think either one of them will be and, perfect. And here for, for a hot second, I, got, I was looking at you and I was seeing Gary Shandling. <laughs> Gary Shandling. That's not bad, but he's actually funny. I'll take that. Gary Shandling. Thank you. I'm in good company.
Let me just, Mr. Arm and Hammer. Mr. Arm and Hammer. If you can create a fictional oh character. Got it. Very good. Not, not as insulting as I was to myself. The self-deprecation always diffuses to the situation. <laughs> I win again. Cosby. I win again. <laughs> Cosby was in the news recently again. Um, his uh, wife was uh, subpoenaed for a disposition. His disposition in the case that was uh, used um, for a civil trial will not be used in the criminal case. Now it comes out that the DA who tried the original case also told the current DA to not f follow through with this because this was an agreement and this was a legal agreement to not pursue him criminally in this township in the state of Philadelphia and they settled for the civil so that the individual who was going after would at least get something out of the case. They knew they didn't have a criminal case. Now one of the people involved, uh, one of the witnesses is also turning, turning tail is Cosby going to end up winning this and owning NBC like he wanted to, or is Cosby dead? Is 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 any of this going to you know any of this going to really help with his tarnished image? Very, 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 very few people can come back from a sexual scandal, especially one where you're alleging um, that he's a perpetrator. I mean, Kobe Bryant was probably a good case of somebody being redeemed. But that was only because they were able to somehow throw mud on the victim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, it took a minute for him to get back to that place. Now, mm -hmm. Cosby has a legacy. Mm -hmm. A legacy. Mm -hmm. And this kind of not, we're not going to, we're not here to discuss whether or not is a, whether he's guilty or not guilty. However, if you look at the, Cosby as an institution, mm -hmm. even if he is acquitted of all charges, mm -hmm. there's no replenishing that legacy. They're never going to put the Cosby Show cool. back on. They're not going to put his star back on the Walk of Fame. Mm -hmm. He's going to be blackballed for the rest of his career or whatever career he has left. Very good. Marita? I think his career is pretty much done with. But what I, I think we touched on this last night, you know, they're definitely not treating him, as always, equally as some other actors. Let's say one, Charlie Sheen, knowingly sleeping with other women with HIV. His star didn't get taken up, or he his shows are still on the air. Mm -hmm. You know, there's another mm -hmm. um, actor who was sleeping with underage women, mm -hmm. underage girls, mm -hmm. and David, nothing. David on the nothing. cover of Time magazine. Right nothing. Now. <laughs> and then for them to, I think they're just taking it to a whole other level with Cosby. Mm -hmm. Is he wrong for some of the things? Yes, I'm. Yes, but it's still across the board. It's never an even playing field with because of your skin color is just and, not and, and I would have to challenge you and go we don't know if he's wrong wrong or right because mm -hmm. technically speaking he has it, not it, been he has not had his day in court no he's not had, he, and he so never he's will, technically and he probably innocent never will. until proven guilty not guilty and then until he can prove himself innocent Steven I think that's the reason why they killed his image in the public eye that because makes it easier it. for them to put any type of story on him and everyone will believe whatever said. Mm -hmm. That is why I love, I love, love, love his lawyer mm -hmm. because she is shutting everything down. Mm -hmm. I love her. I want her to represent me if I ever have any type well, of case. Well, listen, <laughs> wait a second. 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 I, I, I don't want that kind of case, no, but <laughs> I don't well, go last, to court last unless I got meeting, her. I you. you got a parking ticket. I, last, last, please, I will say yeah. this. At last night's meeting, you were eyeing my water, so I was like, I was not really cautious <laughs> around you. So, Miss Bonnie. I, I, well, we talked a little bit last night. This is a witch hunt, and because they can't criminally go after him, they don't have the evidence or whatever they need to really do that, then they just went after him publicly. Mm -hmm. His whole legacy is tarnished beyond repair. Hopefully, if this does have an ending where he is, the charges are dropped and all of that happens, that he can at least outlive the rest of his days in some peace mm -hmm. and find his peace and find the center again because um, it's not going to be the same. Whatever he does mm -hmm. leave us with will not be what he has the, the breadth of his work. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. may be in some other form. I have hope for that, mm -hmm. um, but I. Yeah. I will say this, um, and also being, you know, hanging out now in the Philadelphia area a lot, the, the, the behind the scenes comments are that this was a campaign promise. So someone threw a lot of money onto a candidate or someone running for a position in the township that this is being tried in, and then they, this is the outcome. So if I give you lots of money, you must go after Cosby. 
So this is what people are saying behind the scenes, mm -hmm. that this is mo no more than money being thrown to just to make sure that he is persecuted for what they mm -hmm. uh, seem to think that he's guilty of. Now, you saw that the charges in California were dropped altogether mm -hmm. because it come to find out that he, A, he wasn't even at the party the woman alleged that he yeah. was at. Oh B, she wasn't on the guest yeah. list, nor anyone that she identified mm -hmm. as being there and seeing her would even identify, yeah. even recognize her altogether. Right. So that all that being said, I remember, you know, them saying that they're going to drop the charges at, you know, criminal charges, but she is still going to pursue a civil, civil case. Even Every, though she's been basically been, proven to be a liar. Yes. And, yes. and that's the whole, this is the deal with, with Cosby. I think a lot of people are now seeing that some people, unfortunately, did it, did it happen? Maybe. We don't know. Yeah, no. But now it's being tainted by people who are jumping on a bandwagon mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. truly having, yeah, yeah. just trying to get money. So, yeah. unfortunately, we will see what happens to Mr. Cosby in the future. We have very little time here already, oh. only 10 minutes what? left. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. oh, darn. So we're going to touch not. a testy subject that Ms. Addis last night almost killed me over um, <laughs> with a with a uh, tortilla chip. She held, me to, held it to my neck, decided to almost kill me, had a little bit of guac on it. Um, <laughs> It, Trump is now leading, or well, he's not leading in the polls because the polls, I will say, are the polls that they're taking are by how high, high turnout voters. That's what Quinn EPI bases, bases their polls on. Right. So when they go out and they do their phone calls, they're actually interviewing, in the, you know, high turnout voters. So right now, Trump is go ahead and he's leading, um, according to his books, with the low. Um, low informational voters in all of these places, and he believes so. Is that so. a way to say stupid? Low no, information. low information voter is is just low and just that's it. They just don't have information. They're not stupid. Thank you for they're clarifying. Just, they're not stupid. There's a difference between that. Mm -hmm. And I was I was watching NPR and or listening to NPR uh, on my ride in, and it, there's a guy who wrote Political Animals, or Stone Age Brains, or something in in, in, in current times, and he says that people, um, due to our mindset, you know, which is you know only you know, be, only 100 200 years has been developed into this fast paced you know, society, but we are, are acclimated to 150 people, 170 people communities mm -hmm. that we know everybody. So the media now distorts your view of the individuals, and that's where it comes out that people see a snippet, they identify with what they're saying, no matter what is he say, no matter what he says, if it's the the thing is true, it is true to him. This truthiness, it is true to him, and so people identify with that, they jump on board. So. With all that said, mm -hmm. he will most likely be the Republican candidate. And right now, he is tied statistically with Hillary Clinton. Bernie Sanders beats him, beats him in New Hampshire. But right now, Hillary Clinton, who is going to be the Democratic nomination most likely, mm -hmm. is in a statistical draw. What would you do in a Trump-led United States? Oh Move. Right. Move. <laughs> Think I'm playing? <laughs> You're moving to Canada? I'm not saying where I'm. I'm not disclosing my location. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I fear. I have sincere fear mm -hmm. for the kind of presidency that we're going to have. Forget domestic policy. We're going to go to war. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we will be at war. Believe that. He has, he has no diplomacy skills. He can't even have a conversation with an opponent. Yeah. And you're talking about sending right. him... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, 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 Vladimir Putin thinks he's awesome. I just want awesome. to make sure that those low information voters that vote for him, I hope you're the first ones drafted. Whoa. Yeah, I wow. put that out there. <laughs> wow. I, feel, I hope you're the first ones drafted when that war pops off. Because the people who get drafted are not the people who are going to be voting for him. Mm -hmm. Remember that. And let me tell you, it's not only low informational voters. Last night I also mentioned that millennials, I think, will also have a play in this in this in this presidency. Right. Uh, I mean, this Bernie election. Bernie has the big chunk of that. Vote, Bernie but. has as big a chunk of it because they like Bernie because Bernie speaks the truth. But mm -hmm. if Bernie's not in the race, that's why those votes now go to Trump because right. Trump is not politically correct. Mm -hmm. He is not this institution. He's not doing status to the status quo. So He's what if? That. Okay, so I think the only way that we're gonna save this this uh, presidential election mm -hmm. is if that uh, Bernie and Clinton partner up and get on each other's ticket. No matter who wins the actual primary, possibly they, yeah. need to partner. they need to partner. They need each other. Otherwise, yeah. we are screwed. Okay, Marita, any yeah. any um, where the church still exists? <laughs> not, not under Trump. Trump. <laughs> not under Trump. Pray on that he one, prays. For real. He he worships the church of money. So yes, he's, he he's reaching out to black ministers. Do you feel like the black ministers should support him? I don't at all. But those are black ministers that are high into politics because you've got like certain 
um, churches like the AME, they are very into the mm -hmm. political scene. And really, like, let's say, for instance, my church, we're non-denominational. We believe separate church and state and all that. Like, Hallelujah. we don't follow mm -hmm. what the president or, you know, certain, mm -hmm. we don't we don't get political at mm -hmm. all. We don't have the famous people coming to our churches, mm -hmm. the presidents coming to speak to our people. We just keep that separate, and we just follow mm -hmm. by the Bible. That's that. You know, okay. so we stay out of it. And the only thing that I say we can do is pray because this world is going to be turned upside down. This country with Trump in the house. It really, really is. All right. I might have to move and follow y'all. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's rolling with her. <laughs> Très bien. Costa Rica's nice. Yeah, Costa Rica. I'm learning French. I'm moving to Montreal, Canada. Okay. <laughs> Montreal. Oui, oui, monsieur. Like Climb is down. Ooh, Climb nice. is down. Yeah, they're great. Uh, oh, man. If they, if they do away for universal health care here, I can go to Canada hey, and still get yeah. it. Hey. Yeah. Um, you know what? I think Canada's going to build a wall. Yeah, Canada. Canada. <laughs> Canada. 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 Keep America on the other side. Mexico, that on your side. Mexico will build theirs South to keep us. Uh, to keep, keep Americans in. <laughs> yeah, stay over there. Yes. There you go. Okay. The walls will be built, but for the, all the different, all the purposes we did not expect. Yep. Very good. We're going to touch real quick about the ice raids. You want to mention the ice raids real quick? You got 30 seconds. The ice rays, okay, so, you know, I'm not sure if anyone's following the local stuff that's going on. Um, yeah, ice has come swarming down, doing raids and arresting not just taking adults, but children. Oh, wow. Yes, and, and that is uh, that was that is very different from other previous years where they actually only went through through for the adults who were the head of household because you know. But now, yes, I I witnessed an ice raid several years ago where a family was to, uh, was torn apart literally at dawn, yeah. where there was an African individual who was um, living with this young lady and he was dragged and it was a horrible scene to see and witness, very dramatizing. And even for me who was not involved, I had no clue what was involved and. I, you know, I don't like the way they do it. Also, real quick, it is now. Um, hope you're paying your car taxes. If your car, it, I like the way they send you. They send you the bill, and then it's like, oh, it's due the first. Merry Christmas. Yes. It's not, it's, yes. <laughs> wait a second. You were playing. You had. You had Christmas ideas. No, no. no, no, no two no, weeks no, before, no, we're going to send taxes. you your car bill in the midst of a season and where it's due the first of January. And it's due the first of Woo. January. Is now it's over. I remember one year I was hearing a story that I was following. I, I, I didn't even know that I was being um, that my taxes. were, I forgot. I totally lapsed on me. It was mm -hmm. my first. It was the first time that I had a card note or car tax. So I went over there, and um, the gentleman that followed me from Whitney Avenue <laughs> up to my private driveway, up oh to my, my house. Mm -hmm. And then fortunately for me, I won't say who it was, but he knew my father. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were all goombas from the hill, oh and so then he was like, "Yeah, you cool, you cool." So, um, I would say this. Thirty seconds, Mr. Walt Bradley in the studio tonight. Thank you very much. I want to thank real quick Stephen Palmer, uh, Bonnie, uh, Addis. Castello <laughs> and Marina. Thank you. <laughs> I hate you today. I'm Jose Candelario, and this has been the Minority Report. Jose and him. Jose. <laughs> It's Bill Cosby coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey!